بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the first thing we'll try to understand about the ftd managers now ftd managers are nothing but we do have our firepower device now this is my firepower device let's say i'm using ftd the fire firepower threat defense device now i want to manage this particular device so mostly we can do the cli configuration just like we did on the ass but again you can only do the basic configuration so most of the basic configurations like Uh, assigning the IP addresses, few basic stuff we'll be doing from the from the CLI. But once we are done with the basic configurations, once our basic network topology is ready, so most of the configurations what uh, we'll be using the graphical user interface. So just like if you if you if you know probably on the ASA firewalls, we can either use a CLI. where i can go ahead and configure the things via command line interface likewise i can use some asdm application adaptive security device manager so i can use that asdm application for gui based interface so again this asdm again it is kind of uh, limited to the asa now similar way if you want to do the graphical interface if you want to manage your ftd by using a graphical interface Uh, which where will be doing majority of the configurations via GUI, so we are not going to. Uh, we will be using some external device called FMC. So Firepower Management Center that that something we'll be using. Apart from that, you can also use something like F FDM or or CDO Cloud uh, Cisco Defense Orchestration options. But these two are kind of limited. I'll just give an overview of these options. but here we'll be using fmc for managing your firepower devices or ftds so starting with fdm fdm is again same like the gui based where uh, it's a kind of gui based web based uh, management and it's a kind of simplified device manager so if you want to manage this ftd i can use fdm also i can just have a virtual fdm the fdm device or a separate device or a software and the good thing about this is it is kind of simplified with uh, some of the fdm features but again it's a kind of simplified but most of the advanced features are not supported in the fdm so we'll be using fdm only for managing a small number of devices and and again uh, we don't need uh, basically it is for a small number of devices so likewise we also have something like cd cdo the second option which is cisco defense orchestrator which is similar to fdm uh, fdm option but again there is also limited but the cdo is a cloud based uh, cloud based option uh, we can say it's a cloud based as there is no overhead on running the cdo on the servers so there will be some kind of limited support features with fdm that's where we use fmc so most of the time we prefer to use fmc because the fmc is a powerful management tool for managing your devices uh, especially we can manage multiple ftds from one single uh, device like let's say if you have 20 to 25 ftds you can just manage them via one single centralized device so fmc is a kind of centralized management control for all your a uh, firepower a uh, firepower devices or ftds so this fmc can be either a virtual you can either download a virtual appliance install on a software uh, install on your servers in the form of software or you can have a dedicated a uh, physical device or the physical device as well so depending upon the type of the fmc you are going to select the number of devices you can manage will vary like if i'm using fmc virtual and probably you can add up to 25 sensors and this much of uh, this many of user connections or the host and again and this number will automatically go high when you go with a physical appliances so with fmc we have three different uh, versions of fmc of course you'll find some differences here so depending upon the 
what the device you are going to select probably the scalability will vary so if you're going with a more than 25 uh, sensors 25 firepower devices if you want to manage then you will be going with some kind of physical fmc appliance so whenever we are doing the setup in our labs we will have an ftd now the ftd is a kind of firewall we can say just a firewall which supports ngips at the same time we also set up from the management inter connection we'll we'll try to connect your fmc and we'll try to access the fmc from the pc and we'll log into the gui of fmc and from there we'll be doing all the configurations and then we'll try to push those configurations to the fire uh, firepower devices or the ftds so that's how it's going to be so we must have fmc in order to manage the ftd devices